world. I'm Maya Ryan, and I'd like to officially welcome you to my uh, YouTube channel vlog series, Hello World with Maya. And what I want to do is apologize to those of you, again, who are my fans and those of you who are just joining. Uh, first of all, I need to uh, renew my uh, video editing license, and I haven't had the time or the money to do that. And I had a lot of running around I was doing, but I would have liked to have had uh, renewed that license because... Uh, I just took a trip to uh, and from Savannah, and I just got back uh, early yesterday evening, and I'm still zoned out and still tired from that event. And uh, I was going to go see Gone with the Wind today on the big screen as part of the 80 year anniversary, as that's one of my favorite movies. However, I'm just afraid if I do anything else, I'm going to have um, a big meltdown, which is where I just start crying uncontrollably, and I can't stop till I have a headache. So. I'm just staying home for that, and then I'm just not really feeling well. But in the meantime, I'm just chilling out and taking some me time to myself. And I think I'm going to go take a shower and uh, curl up with a good book because I don't think there's anything else I can do. At any rate, uh, I would like to start with this uh, video, with this vlog, because I have something I'd like to talk about. So first and foremost, while I was down at this autism conference, I met a, uh, a nice man named Dylan Volk, and he has a YouTube channel called Real Dialogue. And him and his father travel around the country, and they promote a book called The Bad Choices Make Good Stories. And he also did a um, presentation based on the name of that book. And then his father also wrote a book. And he just, you know, he just touched me with his story, and it's just interesting. I mean, Dylan is not an autistic that is... Um, going off into super high academics. He's not interested in things like um, uh, NASA, math or science. He's not interested in psychology. Uh, instead, Dylan is interested in making a living doing stand-up comedy and also sharing his life story and the fact that he made bad choices um, living as an autistic. And then he also wants to do a lot with YouTube and. He wants to do what Casey Neistat suggests is do what he can't. So I suggested to, to Dylan Volk that he checks out Casey Neistat. Um, at any rate, uh, Dylan Volk had just uh, put a video into his YouTube channel. It was a uh, recorded live, and I think it was uh, really important and really interesting. But basically, he was upset because his... Uh, it's because while he was at this conference, people uh, attended his seminar and acted like they were interested. And he, they had signed up and added him on Facebook and all that. And he didn't get any emails and he didn't get any uh, responses when he posted things on Facebook. They just ignored everybody, ignored him and paid attention to everybody else. And I thought that was really interesting. And then he went on to say that he paid attention and noticed that women and gay men were uh, more likely to be treated better than a straight white male like himself. And he said that while he was at the conference, he got ignored and he uh, got snubbed on Facebook. Nobody really bought his books, even though he promoted himself and nobody uh, really made an effort and reached out like they were interested, but that they really kind of pretended to. And he was also hurt about the Facebook thing because they didn't bother to uh, want to talk to him afterwards on Facebook. Instead, they were interested in women there. And I thought that was really interesting. And this is especially since uh, women on the spectrum are often misrepresented. And uh, Dylan, I'm really glad you brought that up because I am a woman on the spectrum. And what you're seeing is just a few women on the spectrum. Like you saw Morinike, and you saw me, and you saw Temple Grandin. Um, those are three. I mean, you saw Lydia Brown, but Lydia it, uh, identifies as a non-binary gender, even though they go by the name Lydia. That was their female name that was given to them. And Lydia doesn't uh, really get described as a guy. Lydia is just is not transgender. I mean, Lydia... It, is in a relationship with a non another non-binary gender that goes by they them but um i wanted to let you know that it's just amazing i mean how many people uh, 
connect with others and then they just feel invisible, autistic or not. And I'm starting to realize that. And I heard that from other people who gave talks. I heard this from Daniel Wendler that he, he felt invisible and he was autistic. I heard this from his friend Kyler, who is his business partner. They're going off to uh, teach social skills together to individuals on the spectrum that uh, Kyler is a holistic neurotypical and he was ignored and he's a male. And I mean, Daniel Wendler, by the way, uh, Dylan, he's autistic and he's a male. And everybody went to his talk and purchased his books. So don't jump to conclusions on that. Now regarding the Facebook thing, that breaks my heart that nobody wanted to, uh, Dylan, that broke my heart hearing that nobody wanted to talk to you on Facebook. That's hurtful. I mean, I've also had my share of people uh, uh, post on each other's Facebooks and then when uh, I post something, I don't get a lot of the same clout that others get and I feel invisible. But one of the things that I have to realize, and oh, this really breaks my heart. This really breaks my heart that people can be so cruel like that where Somebody else on Facebook is more important than the other. But I have to realize that Facebook and other forms of social media, they're just fads. They're only adding you on there because um, it's a specific obligation, because it's a polite thing to do nowadays. It's not about connecting or making friends. It's just adding you on there because they have nothing else to do. And they're ignoring you because maybe they don't know you. Maybe they're really close with somebody else, and that's why they're adding you. I don't really know what the reason is, but that's hurtful and that breaks my heart. And again, I also thank you for sharing your uh, feedback about how you're treated versus uh, females or, or homosexuals. Uh, that, again, the story really broke my heart and made me cry. Now, um, also keep in mind, I'm overwhelmed today and I'm overloaded and overly tired. That's because um, I did a lot in the last four days and I'm crying because of that and I'm crying because I'm hearing your story and I'm crying because this story uh, really pierces my heart. So I think you're a great guy and I think your book and your father's book would be <laughs> worth reading. But anyway, fans, would you do Dylan a favor and uh, click up here in the upper right hand corner? Please be sure to subscribe to his channel. It's called The Real Die Line and... It's real Dylan. He is uh, an amazing fellow. He puts out a lot of uh, cool things. And I'd also like to recommend that you guys check out his book and check out the works of his father, which is written by Derek Hulk. It's like something called Down the Rabbit Hole. And they were both at this conference among the 27 uh, participants that were there, including Lydia Brown and Maura Nike, Daniel Wendler, and myself. And of course, so we had Temple Grandin as a keynote. And I've seen her so many times and I've recently been, been, been networking with her and acquainting with her. But that's really sad and that really breaks my heart. So I'm going to log off now just because... This is a tough topic to talk about. I can't do anymore. And two, I'm tired. And three, uh, you can hear my voice. But if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And also be sure to share this on your social media. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer. Bye.